Hey, hey, good morning to everybody and Merry Christmas. It is the Macho Man Robot Savage right here, and I'm back on Christmas Day to show you how to build like a Donald's champ. So today what I'm going to show you is the Striker build. I know you guys have been waiting for this for a while, all right? Today I'm going to introduce you guys to the uh, Kamehameha style of Striker play. You're going to love this build. Recently, if you didn't know, the uh, Boreas uh, Bond for the Strikers, and the Boreas in general for Strikers, was uh, buffed, alright? And this build takes advantage of that buff to really help you shred your opponents, alright? Um, I'm actually going to show you how it's done. Sorry, I'm just going to increase and adjust the music a little bit. First time using Christmas music. So I don't want it to be overwhelming. Okay, so you're going to start off with the... Um, Erska Strikers, alright? These Icebreakers will have a Cunning Cell and a Cunning Cell put inside, okay? Your special is going to be Adamant Bolt, okay? Now, a lot of people are like, wait, well, what about Titan's Crash? You need the Stagger Damage. No, you do not. You're going to see why. This doesn't even worry about knocking down the opponent because you literally shred through them. Um, your mod will be your Inertial Fist Guard. This is a very odd choice, but it's actually absolutely perfect for this build, alright? And after surging, you're going to gain about 15% extra move speed, which really helps you uh, reposition and take out the behemoth. You're going to see that in action. The bond will, of course, be the Bo uh, Brawlers of Boreas, which will basically give you the um, amazingly buffed UE, which will basically... Um, think of the old sword special where you used to continuously generate sprites. Now you can do that every time you surge. So it's really, really strong. Okay. Now you've got your Discipline Omnicell right here. All right. And a Koshai's Bloom with an Etheric Attunement Cell, okay? You've got your Sight of Stone with a Toughness Cell. You've got your Agaric Bowl with an Etheric Attunement Cell. You've got your Boreal Might with a Berserker Cell. And you've got your Volcanic Treads with a Berserker Cell, okay? Overall, what this build is going to give you, I'm going to go through the perks right now. Plus 6 Etheric Attunement, alright, for faster recharges of the Lantern. Plus 6 Berserker where you're going to deal bonus damage um, every time you hit the behemoth. Very good. Cunning, which will pair well with the Discipline Omnicell. All right, so that's going to give you a total of 20% critical strike chance combined with the Discipline Omnicell and 40% boosted critical strike damage. That's where it gets crazy. Now, Tenacious. With this build, you have about 1,300 hit points. That means you've got a 26% baseline bonus damage. All right, that's why Tenacious is in here tough to help yourself heal more off your Koshai's Bloom and use the Lantern freely to teleport around. That's what this is going to feel like. This is going to feel like you teleporting around. Basically, you're going to feel like Goku and that's what this build aims to achieve. Um, Parasitic is just literally here to assist you with reducing some damage and uh, honestly, this build is so offensively strong that Parasitic is literally just there to, to help you stay on the offense and you know not even worry about your defense too much and you're going to see that demonstrated very soon. Okay, so now that you know the perks in the build, and they've been explained to you, and you know how to build it, let's go see it in action. For those of you that don't want to see the combat showcase, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right now. And if you want to support the channel, you want to support the growth of the channel, all you got to do is send a tip via the link in the description of the video. You can become a channel member and gain access to various perks or purchase Asian robot merchandise, alright? Um, we're going to go into the Ulrich's Peak, where the, high, where the behemoths are about 5 to 8 levels higher. Um, I could do a more extreme test, but it is Christmas morning and I'm lazy and I'd rather just show you how we completely deconstruct these behemoths, alright? And, uh, well, you're about to see them get absolutely shredded, which is awesome. Now the first creature is a Boreas, okay, it's seven levels higher than us. Let's go, let's go terminate it and see what happens. Alright, so to begin with, use your lantern freely, so you can dash in like that. Alright, and you want to surge every single time, like before you do your um, combo attacks. For example, let's say I'm about to unleash the Karma Breaker. What I'll do is I will surge. Or if I just want to get a better position, I will surge. But usually I'll do it before unleashing the combo attack, and then I'll do it again after. 
What this does is help keeps it helps to keep your um, special up and running, your UE, sorry. And that helps you basically uh, devastate the opponent in record time. So something like that. I know it might be it might take a bit of getting used to, but once you're absolutely used to it, you know, you will you will have no trouble um, handling handling the speed of combat. It does take a bit of getting used to. I'm not gonna lie about that. Alright, so boom, Kamehameha Wave. Alright, once again. So first first combo like that. Surge. Karma Breaker, Surge again. Alright, you gotta get used to that pattern of teleporting around. And once you do, things are absolutely annihilated. See, it's already dead. So we're now gonna go annihilate the... Uh, the Drask is a bit closer, so we're gonna go... Absolutely obliterate him and any thoughts of his existence from uh, from reality. And keep in mind that we are still level one with these strikers. I I reforged them exactly at level twenty. So yeah, I use your lantern freely, like I mentioned. Use your lantern freely. You know, continuously trigger, continuously trigger your uh, abilities and benefit from those. Okay. If you plan a reposition, go ahead. One Adam and Bolt, and you're gonna heal up from damage, so. And of course, um, you have a Discipline on self, but the Drass patterns are a bit weird, so I don't normally use Discipline on it, because I find it hard to coordinate. And yes, that's even for somebody like me, because the Drask is a weirdo, so that's okay. Even if he is a weirdo, we're gonna beat him to death. Because why? He deserves it. How dare he even exist on Christmas Day. Okay, bang. Bada bing, bada boom. Sometimes you just want to chase down your opponent, you can still do that. Oh, he's dead already. Okay. There. Have a little corpse beating. So there you go, you've completely annihilated two behemoths that were roughly 7 and 8 levels or higher than you. And that was in a couple of minutes. <laughs> okay? If you're just fighting a behemoth 3 levels higher than you, that shit is going to die. Okay? So feel free to abuse this build, it is very very fun, it is very very deadly and devastating. Alright? Use it, abuse it, have fun. Okay? And now... And now, we must go over to the thank you scene. If you like my content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to keep the channel running, drop a tip via the link in the description of the video. Send super thanks on YouTube. You can become a channel member and gain various perks or purchase Asian robot merchandise, all right? If you want to support the Macho Man. And big thank you to December's top supporters, Bravo7910, Crampy D, Johnny Nara, FNX Killer 43 Zabi Zumaki, Randomo, Alien Frost 80, Kaz Banta, my lovely girl, Zach NFG, Soul Cracked, Galaxy Train, Kelvin Maxi, Puni Puni, Rogue Assassin, I'm a Boxhead, Viper91, as well as Leviosa and Real British Robot, thank you very much. I also want to thank our Throne of Honor. Puni Puni, only fan, Real British Robot, only fan, JP Best Prestige, Zach NFG Prestige, The Forgot Prestige, oops, sorry. Just had breakfast. And last but not least, Nate the Great, Prestiged. Thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. All right. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.